All right, we are back. Today we are going to try something I have not done before. Uh, we're going to paint a fish that I've always uh, I've always wanted to paint. I've caught a bunch of them down when I was in Florida with my brother a few years back. We used to use them as bait when we would try to catch lemon sharks and nurse sharks. So um, if this video goes up, you'll see it in the thumbnail, but we're going to try to go with a pinfish. And so pinfish are, are kind of like in the Midwest, like the bluegills of the Midwest or the bream of the South. So they're a huge bait fish, fun to catch. Easy to easy to catch down there with almost anything and great great bait. So we're gonna take this lure. I've already carved one out of some tupelo. Um, we're just gonna kind of make it a uh, pinfish kind of wake bait. That'll probably be shallow crank. We'll say depending on on the actual lip angle when I put that in there and the depth of the lip. But um, we're gonna walk through how I envision making the pinfish in terms of the paint scheme. They're pretty colorful little fish. Um, they've got some really neat yellow stripes. Again, you've probably already seen the thumbnail, um, but we're going to try to go step by step all the way through and how my uh, thought process walks us through it. And uh, we'll see if it turns out to anything that uh, we can catch fish here with in the Midwest. So stick with it, follow along, and we'll see if it works. All right, first paint after we do the white primer is going to be a pearlized Createx white. So we're going to go pearl white. And we're gonna go give this whole this whole body that pearlescent color because the last section I'm planning on I'm gonna make the uh, the top portion mixed with a little pearl blue. All right, pearl white down. I'm gonna mix a little of the blue in the canister as well with a little bit more pearl white and we're gonna gently go up the top to give this kind of a little bluish hue up before we get into any of the color change and color shift paints. Step two as Wicked Laguna Blue with a little bit of that pearl white combined in the chamber. Um, probably can't really see it too much but or too closely. We'll see if I can zoom in real quick so you can see it. Kind of looks like a nice soft Carolina blue. Um, that way, we're gonna just gently, and I mean gently spray the top just to get a little extra hue of blue and a little color. Um, these fish obviously being in the ocean and salt water, there's a lot more color down there than there is up in this Midwest. All right, light coat of that. So you can barely see that hue, which is fine with me. Again, just giving it a first start because we're gonna do some color shift with uh, some cobalt blue color shift here in a little bit, just to kind of give those lines that these pinfish have a little extra flare. But that's a good start. I'm gonna heat set that and then we'll get on to the next step. All right, we're getting into a mixture now. It's a mixture of just detail white and detail pearl black. Um, it's a really just a, a sharp gray. I'm going to accent the top a little bit, give it a little bit of a, and the sides, just a little bit of depth. Not a lot, but enough that when we use these color shift paints that there will be some of that to show through. Alright, 
be a little tougher to see the angle that I'm going to shoot this, but most pinfish have about six bars that go down there. Uh, it would be the vertical side of their bodies, okay? So right behind the gill plate is pretty much where they start, and they're pretty thin. Uh, they're also not very pronounced, so um, I'm just going to be very gentle with this deep, this deep pearl black and pearl white combo just to kind of make it look a little smoky, but I'm going to make those horizontal bars. Thought about freehand, but I think I'll actually just use a little guidance with this stencil here, so. Next side, switch it over, same thing. The one thing about ocean fish and anything in the, in the sea is the, the colors that they have are insane and beautiful. So all sorts of different shades of blue, purples, reds, greens, things that you just can't really replicate in a lure that well. Uh, but we're going to do what we can. So today we're going hit to hit this with a little color shift, some green stuff, world color shift, cobalt blue. And uh, we're going to do some horizontal lines of that. Because if you ever look at a pinfish, and you can probably see on online they're going to have a lot of different colorations between that yellow bars and then color shift will hopefully give you some extra accents there so we're just going to use this pick we're going to color shift all the way down the body and then as i go over the top later with the blue or with the uh, yellow here the wicked golden yellow it should hopefully tie it all together and look pretty sharp so we shall give this a go We see a little shimmy there. I'm gonna heat set that and I will be right back to get the other side. Before we move on to the golden bars. I'm going to finish up the top with that color shift just to really give it that last um. 
The fun part begins when we get to get a little to get uh, get a little detailed with this golden yellow. I believe that's what this is called. Wicked golden yellow, right there. So um, these pinfish have pretty erratic stripes up here in the Midwest. We've got white bass, we've got wipers, we've got striped bass. Yeah, kind of have that same striped method thing there. So I'm just going to kind of go through freehand the best I can and. Uh, Try to make this look pretty cool. So starting, I guess even like a small mouth has these, but starting at the eye is kind of where you're going to start. You're going to have some on the gill, and they'll, they'll actually continue along the whole section of the body. The bait makers and painters already know what to do. Window screening, covering it up. I just kind of hold it down, get myself into a good position with the fingers and holding it down, and then just make a few passes. And it doesn't matter if it gets near the eye, eventually we're going to do some cleanup of that, anyways. So we'll get to scaling. Heat set that quick and get to the other side. Heat set that quick and we'll be good with that. Guilty, gu guilty, gill detail time. Just gonna use this handy stencil that I've gotten cut out that I've used for probably way too many baits, but we're just going to start to use a black uh, line shortly after this gill or after the eyelet just to kind of give you a little depth and a cut off point. Like so, we'll just flip sides and do the same thing on the other side. Once my compressor settles down, um, pinfish have always, as they get older, they tend to have like a like what they almost look like a little shad dot. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in now since I have black loaded up, and it's usually just right behind that main gill plate, um, higher up. So it's not super pronounced. So I'm just gonna kind of shade a spot in. Pretty good for me. That'll work. Next step, we're gonna add a little white in there and do a little detailing up top. Almost finished up, but we're gonna finish it in a little bit more detailing. Kind of hold the stencil up to where I want it to be just to cover up those lines that we just created. 
Um, and I'm gonna go back over with a little bit more just pure pearl silver, just to give that face portion a little extra shimmy and kind of shows the difference, the texture and the techniques. So you can see now that the head of the fish looks just that much different than the body. All right, I'm pretty stoked, pretty happy with that. I will get to clear coating it shortly. Last thing I wanna do is use a little bit of a number two pencil to finish out some of the striations on this gill. Um, instead of painting it and messing that up, having a little bit of graphite go through there and making it pretty comfortable does not do you a bad thing. And you just gotta be nice and light as you put those lines in so you don't tear up any extra tape, I mean paint. that I use is that Bob Smith. This is five minute epoxy. It sets up quick. This is just going to be for a nice, easy transition to put these eyes in. I, uh, I don't have many eyes left to choose from, but I realize that the American Shad or Gizzard Shad eyes that I have from Jets and Lures really do look pretty salty. And uh, not sponsored by Jetson, nor do they give me any free product. I just think that their lures are pretty good. I know Dead Meat Customs are pretty good too. I uh, just happen to have some of these lying around. So these are the 10 mil eyes, gizzard shad. Pre-clear coat, pinfish. Once I uh, finish the clear coat process, we'll probably get Bob Smith 30 minute, well, 30 minute epoxy, and I'm probably gonna add some small silver flake. I like doing that. Kind of gives these things a little extra, extra little kick. So we'll do that, get it on the road uh, rotisserie, and we'll show you the final product. All right, it is done. This is the finished product. So I ended up going with the KBS clear coat this time and I put that on the rotisserie. So um, took about 24 to 36 hours before the first coat would dry. So that is what it looks like. Uh, pretty excited and pretty happy with this one. I don't see many uh, uh, pinfish here in Nebraska, especially. Um, but when we were down in Florida, my brother and I, we used a bunch of these, caught a bunch of these. So it's pretty fun and colorful little fish. So. If you like this video, if you like this little painting tutorial, if you're going to use this, drop a comment below. Like my videos if you'd so be inclined to do so. Hit that subscribe button too if you enjoyed something and you enjoy my videos of these uploads. Um, hopefully get do a few more throughout this summer and fall and we'll just see you on the next one.